so today we're going to talk about Paisa mechanics and abilities. And we're going to teach you all about everything you need to know about how to play Kaisa in a nutshell. How do we PvP? How do we fight effectively on Kaisa, right? So before we start, I would like to thank Game Leap for providing all the editing again. They have a ton of videos and educational material on their website and the YouTube channel. So if you want to go learn more about the game, maybe not just the ADC role, definitely check them out, right? That's Game Leap. So let's get into the video though. Uh, we, there, there are so many things that I wanted to talk about making this video that we actually had to pretty much just cut everything and break it down to the two most important ideas when you're using Kaisa's abilities, okay? The first is, uh, you know, how can we maximize our damage? And the second is, how can we maximize our outplay potential, okay? If there's anything you wanna take away from today, it's making sure you use these abilities to either this effect, all right? So the way this video is gonna be structured is we're gonna look at how this works on dummies because if you can't do it on a practice dummy, you can't do it in game. And then we're gonna show you some real life examples, or I should say in game examples, okay? So I even have, there's so much stuff, I wrote I wrote it down on a notepad, like on the second monitor, okay? So let's start with Q. Q, there's no real outplayability. It really is just maximizing your damage, okay? And the way you want to maximize your damage is ideally, you wanna isolate your target, right? Because if you isolate your target, all the damage will go on the target. If you don't isolate them, damage will be split okay and another way to kind of utilize this in lane is sometimes you know you can't get the isolate that's fine make sure that if you want to trade you q auto attack all right that's the main bread and butter mechanic you need to know q auto attack and if you can isolate q auto attack right wow i, got, I even got the scuttle there right isolate q auto attack okay easy q is very easy it's very nice okay next we're gonna look at w how can we maximize our damage on w well we have to land it okay so one very important idea on kaisa is do not use her abilities unless you know for sure that it will maximize, it will be maximum value. And what do we mean by maximum value? This is maximum value. If you isolate Q, it's better than splitting the target on a different champion. And also if you isolate Q on a backline champion, that's even better than isolating Q on a tank. Okay, so that's the value. We're still using the same ability, that's the same amount of mana but it gives you a different uh, value in terms of you think it's better or worse, okay? So in order to maximize your ability value on Kai'Sa, the, another tip is just hold on to your abilities if you're not sure. Wait until the last second, okay? So W is the same. You really don't wanna miss it. Now, how do you maximize damage on W? Don't you just hit it? No, uh, W actually does more damage based on how many stacks they have, okay? So I don't know, you can read these abilities if you want, but basically, uh, the more stacks you have, the more damage it does. So if you have four stacks, boom, it does Omega damage, right? Versus no stacks, 380 versus 690 or whatever that number is, all right? It's actually a big number. So if you have a choice, of course, we wait to four stacks, right? Another way to maximize your damage is just not just to W them in the face, but you need to auto cancel it. You fit an extra auto attack in there, okay? So if you need to know, this is a, this is a good time to mention it, but... Here's another uh, good tip for you guys to remember. All of Kaisa's damage comes from isolated Q and passive. Okay, in the laning phase, it's passive. Outside the laning phase, isolated Q and passive. Okay, what do you mean by passive? Five hits, okay? So in order to maximize your damage, uh, your W needs to land, otherwise it's really hard for you to get to those five stacks, right? Uh, so yeah, definitely auto canceling is extremely important so that you can add a stack on top of landing your W, all right? So auto cancel W and uh, holding onto your W until you can land it, right? Don't worry about this snipe stuff. Like this is, it's honestly most of the time not very useful, okay? You need a W, the target you're hitting. Don't W like this target, but then proceed to try and kill this guy. Like you wasted your W on this guy. This this, this is a 12 second cooldown at max rank. At like <laughs> at like a level one W, it's like Omega cooldown. I don't know, editor, put, put up the cooldown for me. It's really, it's hella long. Okay, you cannot be wasting your W on a target you're not intending to proc your passive on, okay? Now here's your outplay tool slash guaranteeing your W. It's a skill shot, right? It's really hard to land. As anyone who's ever played Kaisa knows, you can easily miss this. So how do we make sure we land this? W flash, right? So if you, this is a normal W. And this is the flash, too late. And this is the super fast W flash, okay? So what's the point of this? Oh, Kaisa said that's pointless. <laughs> What's the point of this, right? Is that they can't react to this in time. You see that? If they, if you do this, it's easy for them to just flash it or dodge it or know it's coming. But if you W and flash on their face, you also have to flash before the W comes out. 
right? Then it's impossible to react. And here's bonus points. If someone's between you and you're aiming this guy in the back, right? W flash over. And it's insane, okay? So W flash is how you guarantee this W. We'll show you an example later. And then E, in order to maximize your damage, you must auto cancel it, okay? If you have no idea how to use this ability, auto cancel it. Otherwise, we're using it to E in and instantly isolate Q auto attack, right? Or we're using it to kite, you know, after you auto cancel, right? Those are probably the, the main uses. And if you need to have outplay ability, how do we maximize outplay ability? When you go invisible using it, make sure you're pretending to go in one direction and then E the other direction, right? So that their cursor is tracking you and they're, they're, they're trying to aim skill shots at you in this direction. But in fact, you went invisible and went the other way. Anyone who plays Vayne knows this uh, tumble mechanic, right? So basically, you want to walk this way, auto attack cancel, run the other way, right? Or if you want to be even more convincing, you are auto attacking, run this way, auto attack, step a half direction in this case, and then E this way. And don't move before you E. Because if you move and then you E, it's obvious where you're going. So make sure you E and then you go this way. You, you go the other way, okay? So it's gonna look like this. See that half step and I turn around? Make it very convincing. You wanna act like you're going in a certain direction, right? You can even go backwards and then go in, right? You can go in, right? And then you can even go backwards. Any, anything works, okay? But make sure you have to auto cancel and also trying to debate the direction you're going. So this is something you need to practice tool if you want to use it in game, right? And then uh, last but not least, we need to talk about ulti, okay? So ulti has so many different uses. First, we're going to talk about how do we use our ulti to do damage. Wow, ulti can do damage? I thought it does no damage. No, it actually can enable you to do damage, okay? So what do you mean by that? If you're stuck in a position like this, how do we do maximum damage to this target? I can't isolate him. Right? Maybe I can W him like this. Well, let's say we're like, maybe there's a dude in the way, right? How do we maximize our passive damage and isolated Q damage? The obvious one is, the, first, the easiest tip right now is make sure you specifically pick which point in the circle you want to ulti to. So if you're just like, oh, you can't just like ulti on top of their face, right? Because if you Q here, you're going to hit three different targets, right? If you want to maximize their damage, you must pick a spot exactly where you will be able to isolate them like this right and if you want to if you wonder why uh you know we hit this target on the way along the way is because you can queue while you're in midair so in order to prevent this you want to make sure you ulti and then you queue okay so you're not splitting your damage right another thing you could do to make sure you're maximizing your damage is rw okay how can you how do you land your w skill shot if people is every if there are like a bunch of people everywhere are on top of them and w immediately right so you want to r to the specific spot near them right and then you want to w into the dummy like that okay right so you need to be able to practice through this and the third way to maximize your damage on ulti third and uh probably one of the more flashier ways you can do it is uh surprise auto cancel okay if you if you if you ever need to maximize value on abilities auto cancel everything okay so what do we what does auto cancel do Auto attack, or well, ulti gives you an auto attack reset cooldown. So what does that look like? Well, first, what does that mean? It gives you, it means it gives you a free auto attack, all right? So what does that look like? Like that. We fit two auto attacks in the span of one by using ulti. So just like auto cancel W and auto cancel E, you can in fact auto cancel ulti, okay? So if you're doing some kind of crazy full combo, you can auto attack E, whoops, auto attack E, auto attack W, auto attack ulti. And you just did like a million damage to him in the span of like half a second, right? And it's not even like some combo. It's like a, basically a combo I put out of thin air because I know that I should auto cancel everything to maximize the value on my abilities, right? Um, now, <laughs> let's get into the outplay part. We did all the damage stuff, right? Now let's get to the outplay part of the ulti, all right? So the first is you can use it to dodge an ability, okay? Like that, right? And let's say someone throwing a skill shot at you, you dodge it and, and by ulting sideways okay uh, another one is you can block damage just straight up just like block z all damage right use it as the shield right the the probably the most important one so you can write this down is going over walls if your target is next to a wall so for example if i ulti over here i'm going over the wall remember you need to pick the specific spot you're going to ulti to right over the wall specific spot right here right here we can't go we can't go anywhere else we can't go like here no 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 not here not here you need to pick the exact spot you're going to. So like I say, for example, we want over the wall, but also isolate Q. We can't do this. It's going to hit two people, right? We have to pick this spot, right? This specific spot. Is any, any ulti tip you need to know. It's 
pick the specific spot where you're ulting to. Be as specific as possible, okay? Another outplay tool is misdirection. Similar to how we are auto-attacking and going invisible, right? Auto-canceling and running in one direction, but going invisible in the other. We can also do the same with ulti, right? We can do the exact same thing with ulti. And in fact, while we're kiting, we can ult all the way to the other side. Uh, so if you're ever in a gank situation and you're getting and you're, you're getting chased and you're getting ganked from this side, you can W and then run and then ulti right over here. So let's say, for example, oh, that's not what I want. Uh, I want this. Let's say you're running and you go like this and they chase you. You can ulti out and we're going we're going home, right? We out of here, right? So those are the. Uh, the, the basic ways to outplay, and then there are probably more advanced ways to outplay, okay? Another one is going to be using QSS, okay? We can't see it in this example because I don't have a player with me, but I'll show you a clip later where they are, uh, they are going to knock you airborne. You can QSS the ability, and then you can ulti, all right? So let's say Lee Sin's kicking you, you can QSS and ulti. Or let's say, uh, let's say you're getting Alistar knocked up, right? You can QSS and ulti out of it. Right, Q QSS and ulti will give you a way out of like knockups or airborne abilities, right? Anything like that. You can outplay those or knock up, whatever. Anything like that. You can QSS and ulti, okay? You can't QSS E. You can QSS flash, but well, every champion can do that. The Kai'Sa can QSS ulti. Okay? It's insane. And in fact, you can QSS auto attack cancel ulti, <laughs> okay? So you see how insane this champion is, right? And then the last one we're going to talk about is another pattern you're going to need to know is Zhonya's, okay? How do we use Zhonya's on Kai'Sa? In order to use Zhonya's correctly, you need, to, you need to grab their attention, maybe Eing in, or walking up to auto, or ulting in. You need a Zhonya's to block something, and then you need an answer right outside of Zhonya's. I don't care what that answer is, but you need an outplay tool right outside of Zhonya's. What is an outplay tool? It means Zhonya's, and then, for example, immediately flash, right? So, okay, really poorly timed there. Let me show you, right? Zhonya's, and immediately flash out. So they're aiming you, but all of a sudden you flashed out, right? Or you can Zhonya's after you auto attack, they immediately ulti, right? <laughs> Many different things you can do. You can even auto attack E, auto attack Zhonya's. You can auto attack cancel your Zhonya's too, and then E out, okay? And then if you want to combine a bunch of things, it's essentially have a tool available after you're stuck. And Zhonya's is a quote unquote stuck. You're, you're stuck. So if you E in, you're quote unquote stuck in this spot. And then you flash, and then you ulti. Right? Something like that. So you can do some crazy stuff like, you know, I don't know, auto attack, cancel E, and then Zhonya's, right? And then flash, right? And then auto attack, cancel ulti, boom! Big all play, and they can't even touch you, right? And if you want to even make it even more complete, you can like W in, Q auto attack, Zhonya's, right? And then we can flash, auto attack, cancel ulti, right? So, you know, using all your abilities, I'll play essentially. All right, now, enough of that. Let's go to our examples, okay? Because that's where all this spicy stuff comes from. A good tip for Kaisa's Q is making sure you auto attack and then you Q. If you try to Q before you auto attack, you actually run the risk of not landing your Q because you're not in auto attack range. You're not in Q range, essentially. Q is auto attack range. So if you want to make sure you're landing your Q on auto attack, make sure you auto attack. When you see your auto attack animation, press Q. That way you're guaranteed that your Q is going to land. Your Q is in range. So here, if you Q, and then auto attack, right? You mess it up. You're you're gonna end up not hitting Sivir, right? You're gonna end up not. You're gonna end up hitting this minion instead. Okay, so easy tip for Q. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to W. Let's look at some uh, you know W uh, auto cancels, right? First up, we have using your ult to position your W, right? Let's take a look at this clip. So I can't land my W in this case. How do I get to do it? R W, right? Into his face. Proc passive, dead, right? Passive and isolated Q is your bread and butter. Okay, that's all your damage. Here's an example of auto cancel W. So I don't know what this is, but it's all gonna be the same. All good mechanics look the same. Auto cancel E. This is auto cancel W, right? Oh, beautiful. And we landed the passive because of it. This is W flash auto cancel. Okay, it's even crazier. And uh, wow, this is on stick A. Unfortunately, C or D lost, so it was bad, man. But hey, I guess good luck in the gauntlet, right? So that was a f auto cancel flash W. Auto cancel W flash. Sorry, get the order correct. Otherwise, you you might mess it up in game. Okay, you W and then you flash. Okay, auto cancel W flash. And then let's see what else do we have for flash usage. Making sure you guarantee your W for the damage and or proccing passive. And you can also use it in conjunction with dodging something. Use your flash to dodge something and land your W. Like in this example where we flash the hook 
and land the W, right? So yeah, you can you can Kai's is insane like that. Okay, one of, that's why she's like the best ADC. Okay, here's an example of proccing it on four stacks. Okay, and you sure you'll see some other ability usage here. Okay, she has four stacks, and oh look at that damage, right? It's actually insane. And one easy tip or one cool tip you could use for Kaisa W is making sure you can see invisible champions. So if you hit an invisible champion, you can actually reveal them. Let's take a look at this clip. I'm going to W him and oh, we can see his ass. So now he can't do anything uh, spooky to us, right? So yeah, you can you can see invisible champions in that, in that, in that sense, okay? okay? How do we use our E correctly? E, we can use it to dodge abilities, right? Is it for mobility? You won't see this as often, but uh, you can in fact use your E to... Dodge the ability if you're brave <laughs> or mechanically gifted, right? One or the other. So here we're going to dodge Orialty, right? E immediately when they do something. You need to E to gap close if you think you're going to one-shot them, right? So here's an example of using our E to gap close to give ourselves an isolated Q, right? And then uh, when we ulti and we kill someone, sure. And uh, we can use E as a hit and run tool in the mid late game to give yourself iso isolated Q again. Really, it's all about can you give yourself isolated Q and or passive damage, okay? Like that. We just did like a million damage to him in half a second. And then let's look at Kai'Sa ulti examples, okay? Here's, ult here's auto attack reset, okay? Uh, here's a clear example on Tristana here. So, yeah, I'm just gonna let the clip play. She's gonna jump in. You know, we're auto canceling everything, W him in the face. I'm gonna wait until the last second to auto cancel our ult. So one shot him, right when the passive breaks. Here's another one on Ka <laughs> Cassidy. That's a little more fancy. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, sure, sure. Auto, oh my god, beautiful. Auto cancel the uh, Cassidy and then, uh, I don't know, Kha'Zix is inting or something, okay? Here's some uh, examples of dodging an ability, right? We need to dodge a specific ability. We can use it for movement, right? So here, the thing to dodge is Jinx ult. So we must dodge in, in some direction. Well, up is the only direction for us here, right? So use it to dodge the ulti and we're good to go. Uh, I don't know, Jinx is running it down, I guess. QSS ulti. Okay, you can QSS and alt out, right? So in fact, lead kick is the example. You can use it in conjunction with ulti to escape from the lead kick, right? And then the rest of this team fight can play out whatever. And then here's some options uh, after we use ulti, right? So this is some Zhonya's examples we talked about. Ulti in, debate with Zhonya's, and use E and or flash as our escape tool after Zhonya's, right? Exactly what we talked about. More Zhonya's example. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, auto attack cancels Zhonya's. <laughs> Dude, this champion's insane, guys. This champion's insane. And we flash out immediately, right? These are kind of the main examples. And if you kind of ulti to, to, to misdirect the enemy team as well. Pretend you're doing something, but instead you go the other direction. Oh, we're going to one direction. Oh, run the other. See ya. See ya later, bro. Right? And in fact, if you want to rewind here, we even had <laughs> poor stack. We even landed our W and an isolated Q and proc the passive, right? W auto attack isolated Q to one shot him, right? We got isolated Q and the passive proc, right? So that's kind of your bread and butter. This is this is what it should look like when you're done with this video. <laughs> auto cancel E, right? Auto cancel ulti. Isolate Q, auto cancel E. Attack attack, auto cancel W, boom, 1v4. Easy clap. All using the same kind of ideas we talked about today. Here's another example. Take a look at this. Okay, face tank a hook. That's not good. Auto cancel alt. Holding on to W, very important. Actually, uh, in fact, making a mistake by Wing Rumble. Auto cancel E, isolated Q, rocking passive, right? These are all things that in order to maximize your damage, you must do. When in doubt, auto cancel everything, right? Auto cancel E right there. If you don't auto cancel, you're missing so much damage, essentially. So there's a, a big tip you need. It's auto cancel everything. Auto cancel E again. <gasps> oh my lord! I could I could have even auto cancel W there. Okay, we're just being really patient, holding on to all your abilities, right? Stop watch is available. We have some kind of play available for us to us for sure, right? When in doubt, we just sit in the back and we wait until we can find an opportunity for isolated Q and or proccing passive, right? So E and isolate Q, sure. Looking for a W proc here on the, the passive proc on Braum using W. And we're gonna ult in to try and kill these two players. And we're gonna E in and finish off people with passive. 
right? Right, that's the that's the part that kills people, passive, right? And we zone immediately, and because we have no out, we die. But uh, our out was trying to auto attack our way out, but you know it, it's extremely hard to just auto attack your way out. So usually you want something like E or Flash or LT to get out of Zonus. Okay, so those are kind of pretty much some of the clips I had here. I know that this video is way too long. I hope that you guys learned something. If there is anything to take away, it's remember that you are looking to maximize damage with abilities and or maximize outplay ability with with abilities, and using simple rules to make sure that happens. For example, making sure you land W. Maybe you have to use flash or you have to hold on to it. Make sure you auto cancel W. Make sure you auto cancel E. Make sure you auto cancel alt. And every time you alt, you kill someone. Kill someone and or escape. Okay. So yeah, those are the main tips. I hope that these examples helped. And definitely make sure you got this all down in the practice tool before you try it in game. Practice makes perfect. Let me know what you guys can come up with in games. If I missed anything that you think is important, definitely let me know in the comments. Otherwise, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.